40 years ago, 1981, there was a movie that was released that was called Chariots of Fire. It was a story of Eric Liddell, who ended up being a missionary to Scotland. But he first was involved in the Olympic Games, to which the movie was made. And his sister, Jenny, wanted him to knock this off and go straight to the mission field. Not only as Hollywood could do it, it's fine, but he says to his sister, he says, Jenny, I believe God made me for a purpose, but he also made me fast. And when I run, I feel his pleasure. I can't tell you how many times I have felt his pleasure when I'm in an environment like this because I'm doing what pleases him. Do that. Whatever that is with your life, do that. Please God. Whatever it is that you know that you could do with the rest of your life to please him, do that. Listen, respect the people who want to speak into your life and say, I think you should do this. But at the end of the day, do what will please God. One example. I have to give this example. I'm a grandpa now. And that's what papas do. They give examples. I have a three-year-old grandson, and he's obsessed with excavators. If there's an excavator that I see coming over to his house that's functioning, I have to pick him up and take him over there so he can see it. Loves excavators. Now, I have a doctor's degree in ministry. My son Jonathan spoke a few weeks ago. He's a pastor, well-known, well-respected pastor in this community. I think most of you know that. So he's got this three-year-old who's obsessed with excavators. You and I need a little bit of an attitude adjustment. If we would have a problem, if now 28-year-old Marco is behind an excavator and he says, when I move dirt from here to here, I feel God's pleasure. Do that.